Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you. And we are almost at mid-April. I, I've been commenting lately as we start the shows of how quickly time is going. I'm just finding that things are moving so quickly. And part of that I love because I love what's coming and what we can build and create. But also in things going faster, I find it so important to remember to pause, to remember to breathe. We did that behind the scenes as we were getting ready for today's show. And I just want to encourage you throughout our time together to just remember that this is your time. It's an opportunity for you to pause in the busyness of life and be poured into, be supported. So let's take a breath together. Just feel that collective support. In through the nose, all the way to your toes, and then out through your mouth, like through a straw. I find just taking a breath shifts things so powerfully for me. And some of what we're going to be talking about today is how do we step into our leadership, fully own that, our influence and our success? How do we consistently do that? How do we powerfully move forward? And I have found on my journey, it's not so much the external things, the things going on around me as a leader all those things that can happen to us that we face, we get to choose how we're going to be in it. We get to choose how we respond. What is our go-to? How do we navigate the unexpected? How do we navigate our own doubt, our own thoughts within our, our head and our mind? How do we navigate those things so regardless of what comes our way, we can own being a leader own bringing forward those things that matter most to us and do that in a way that is in alignment with who we truly are, who we truly are becoming, who we truly want to be. We have an amazing guest today that is an expert in helping us do that, helping us really achieve, step into not only our goals, but true success in life and business, however you may define that. And part of that isn't just what we do, it's how we're being. And how can we step into leadership, fully own that in our success as we're navigating ourselves? (laughs) I find so often what can stop us, what can be challenging, is not the external things, it's what's going on within us. So today, I'm going to encourage you to pause, really take in what's going to be shared Be open, discover, be curious, not with judgment, but with curiosity and see what comes up within. And as we continue our conversation, you'll get tips and tools and perspectives to help you powerfully navigate not only what happens externally and outside of us, but also within us so you can step more fully into your true success. I hope you're excited for the conversation. I know I am. There's always things we can learn and discover to continue to move forward powerfully. So as we come together, let's take another one of those beautiful breaths as we just take in some of those thoughts and perspectives and take a moment as you breathe and kind of see what's going on within as I process being a leader, as I think about stepping into my success, as you think about stepping into your success, see what's going on within, just with curiosity. Take a breath in through the nose. Again, hold it for a moment. Feel that air expanding you, bringing that beautiful oxygen to every cell in your body, supporting you. We get to allow that support in (laughs) and breathe out 
releasing what no longer serves, creating room and space for more that does. And as you're breathing and enjoying that pause, I invite you to put both hands on your heart and notice that heartbeat and see what is whispering to you in between each beat of your heart. So you think about leadership. You think about achieving your goals, things you want to do and bring forward. As you think about what is success? How does it feel? What does it look like? Just kind of see what comes forward. And as you're holding that, eyes closed, you're absolutely safe. Let's ask a little bit further, a little explore a little bit further and ask the question, what is it that you need to support you in this, to support you in stepping, owning fully moving into your success. What do you need? And are willing to receive because you absolutely have choice. So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? We're not asking how. We're just asking for you to identify what you need and are willing to receive. I invite you to be unattached to how. We're just leaning into what? Beautiful. Okay, with that, let's take another deep breath. (laughs) Open up your eyes. Become fully present and take a moment to write down what was laid on your heart. I mentioned some of what I was noticing, that reminder that I need to pause more, to breathe deeply, to be present. That's a what of was laid on my heart and there is room and time for all that I can allow that support that pause that moment to reset recenter into my life that was laid really deeply and powerfully on my heart and with that Lynn I'd love to know what was laid on your heart yeah so thank you for that Rebecca I love that you do that breathing Uh, This is Stress Awareness Month, and one of the best ways that you can reduce stress, negative stress when you feel it, is to breathe. Mm. Because when something happens, your, uh, your stress hormones go into high alert, and by doing that breathing, you calm down your stress hormones, and you're able to function from yourself instead of from your stress. So thank you for sharing that meditation and that breathing exercise. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. I'm just feeling as we were breathing and you remind us that this is Stress Awareness Month. I wasn't aware of that. I appreciate that. I was thinking of as we breathe, all those cortisol levels lowering (laughs) and being released as we come back to center. (laughs) So I love that. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing Listeners, I'm so curious as to what you noticed, what you discovered. I hope you felt that shift as we took a moment to pause and bring awareness to ourselves, to our breathing, and to the moment. As we go into our first commercial break, I invite you to stay present. Keep breathing. Resist the urge to run off and check things off the to-do list. These two minutes are for you. I claim them for you. Enjoy. Stay present. Breathe and think about what success means to you. What are you needing to support you on your journey? And we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Follow Voice America at Facebook.com forward slash Voice America for juicy updates from your favorite radio shows and podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. 
Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa. Play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and that you chose to stay present and breathe and be. Well, we opened our conversation talking about leadership and success and even touched on how this is Stress Awareness Month and that we were going to continue our conversation and dig a little deeper into all of these areas to really empower and support you in stepping fully into your success. So with that, I'm very excited to formally introduce our amazing guest, Lynn Tranchell has helped business leaders achieve goals for over 30 years. Lots of years of experience in doing this. And as a coach who specializes in the science of success, she is passionate about helping entrepreneurs achieve success in all areas of their life and business. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and dynamic Lynn Tranchell to the show. Welcome. Thank you for that introduction. Um, That was great. And also remember a lot of people when I talk to, especially women don't feel as though they are leaders. Mm -hmm. everybody is a leader. You wouldn't have gotten out of bed if you weren't a leader. And even if you haven't gotten out of bed yet, you still have your eyes open and you're here, which means that you are leading your life in some way. So we don't have to be um, in front of a hundred people or supervising a hundred people to be a leader Every day of your life, you're being a leader by just doing what you do every single day. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. It was almost like you can see my notes. <laughs> I love it. I was going to ask I, I you. I do have that ability sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I was going to ask you, who is a leader? So that is yeah, perfect. Everybody I, is a leader. I appreciate you sharing that because I think we do. We sometimes think, oh, it's not for me. I'm not that. But we are. And we have an opportunity to even more fully step into who we are and lead where we want to go. So I appreciate that. And I wanted to to start our conversation with why. Why is this work of helping leaders achieve their goals, really step into success in life and business, why is that personally so important to you? Well, I think it's important to, to know that the world really needs conscious leaders right now. And Mm. based on everything that you have said um, and everything that you have shared, I know you are a conscious leader and you are helping others be conscious leaders. The world is really getting more and more into a fear-based society. Mm. So when we can have leaders who are leading from a different place and creating success for everyone, 
it kind of eliminates that fear base and we move forward in greater service and success as we do that. Wonderful. And I love that vision that there is enough for all and and collectively we can step forward and lead and shift from that fear space to a more empowered space and really create what matters to us. I'm curious if there was something that happened in your journey that led you to really being interested in this area, knowing that this is what you're called to do. You've been doing it for so many years and impacting so many hearts and lives. I'm so curious what started you on that journey to help others in this way. I've always felt as though my purpose was to help other people um, make other people's lives easier. So that is something that I realized fairly uh, early on. And then um, what started me on this coaching path is I started, it started at my church. I started taking classes and then I started teaching classes. I really loved it when people got it. You know, that light bulb goes off. And people see things differently and start doing things differently. So that's why I got into the teaching and coaching arena, because I want to help as many people as I can to have those light bulb moments where they see things differently and start doing things differently. I love that. There is something so exciting about seeing that that light bulb go on, things click, and the shift that happens and getting to be part of that. So I love that you recognized what that is for you to help people in that way with their light bulb moments um, so early on and that you've leaned in, said yes, and helped so many people. So I just honor and celebrate that. And I love how you opened our conversation talking about and reminding us Uh, that we are all leaders, that we are leading, we are showing up, we are moving forward in our lives and by the very nature that we're here (laughs) and we're tuning in Mm -hmm. and leaning in. So I I love that. I'd also like to take a moment and define, if, if you don't mind defining, what is success? I think that's a term we use in different ways, but I don't know that we all mean the same thing when we use it. Yeah, and and like you said, I think success is very individual. So success for one person could be um, raising their children. Another success could be uh, getting that job that they really love. And another success could be getting enough sleep at night. So it really is dependent on what you want. And when you're looking into what success means to you, all you have to do is ask that one question, what would I love? Mm. And when you ask what would I love, it moves you into a different vibration and you see things differently, you start doing things differently. And that also helps you see what success means to you because if you can dream it, you can achieve it. As long as you ask what would I love, then you'll be in that right space to be able to do everything that you would love to do. Mm, beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. I I found in my own journey that I really had trouble with figuring out success. Uh, personally, I would find people I admired and I'd ask them what success was to them and how did they do it. And then I would put that as the the plan, the roadmap <laughs> into place. And I was really good at implementing and following their path to success. And I would do that. I would check all the boxes and then find out it didn't feel that great to me. So then I'd find someone else in another path and I would do that. And it took me a long time to figure out exactly what you're sharing that, wow, I get to define my own definition of success and go after that. And I love this way of how is really looking at what do I love? What does that feel like? What do I want to bring forward? What what do I love? What feels great and is in alignment with me? And I found when I did that in my life and I made that shift, it made all the difference. And I could get more in alignment with who I was. And really, when I started to achieve those things that matter to me, it felt great. It felt more um, in alignment versus disillusioning to me. And I'm just curious, Lynn, and you're working with people, if you have found that's been a similar journey and shift for people. Yeah, a lot of people um, go looking outside of themselves. 
like you said, to to get a definition of success or to get a definition of leadership or to get a definition of anything. And just know you are the highest authority on everything in your life. Everybody was given a unique perspective, a, a unique voice, a unique personality, um, just like your fingerprints are unique. There are no two people in the world with the same finger, fingerprints. It's the same with you and with your purpose and with your uh, life's calling. So just by tuning into how you are feeling on any given moment, you can tell whether you're on the right path or not. If it feels good, keep going. If it doesn't feel good, figure out what it is to get back into that place of feeling good. And as long as you follow that love path, you'll accomplish exactly what you need to be doing in this life. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. I'm uh, curious, as as we look at this and we're tapping into the feelings, I know there are challenges that can come up or stretching or, or building muscles. And sometimes when we're building those muscles, it doesn't feel great, but we know we're moving in a good direction. How do we navigate or know the difference on our path? Well, yeah, for me, it's if you are feeling, if you take action, um, and you feel a little bit of rattle, that's a good sign Mm -hmm. because that means you're moving forward. Your subconscious mind sole purpose is to keep you safe. It would rather be wrong 99 times than to miss that one opportunity to keep you safe. So the fact that you're taking action and feeling that rattle is a good sign. Okay. Because if, if you weren't feeling that rattle, then it would mean you're, you weren't doing anything. You're, your subconscious mind would be fat, dumb, and happy. So <laughs> knowing that you're feeling that, just be able to um, be in the discomfort and take action in the face of the discomfort, and it gets better. I I appreciate that. So really having kind of that discernment between the two of not staying where we're not moving <laughs> because mm-hmm. our subconscious mind is trying to keep us safe and never stretch, never do anything different. Cause if we keep doing the same thing and expect a different result that has been given as a, a definition of insanity. So if we want to shift things, we shift things and, and move forward. So really understanding that we can be rattled or stretched a little bit and that's fine. That's part of taking action. What, would you say helps encourage people through a little bit of that discomfort as they are stretching and growing? What can encourage them on the, on their path? Well, one thing you can do is just notice your thoughts Mm -hmm. because your, everything starts with your thoughts. Your thoughts create feelings. Your feelings create uh, your action and your action creates your results. So if you aren't having the results you want, see what thoughts are behind it. And then when you change your thoughts, you change your feelings, change your actions, and change your results. Mm -hmm. So you can either turn that into a vicious cycle of the same thoughts, feelings, actions, results, same thoughts, feelings, actions, results, or you can discern it, change your thoughts, create new thoughts, feelings, actions, and results, And then you turn it into a victorious cycle instead of a vicious cycle of living. You can live the same day over and over again, or you can live each day anew. I love it. Well, we are getting ready to go to our first or our next, I should say, our next commercial break. My goodness, the show goes quickly. And I'd love it if you could lead us through a way to start becoming aware of our thoughts and we can use this commercial break as an opportunity for them and our listeners here to, to do that. So can you give us a little bit of a suggestion of how to start being aware of our thoughts? Yeah. The first thing is to just notice. And I I remember in earlier when you were talking about something you said without judgment. So just notice Mm -hmm. your, your thoughts and your feelings without judgment. Um, how does it feel when you do this? How do these thoughts cause you to feel? And the awareness is the first step in the process. And just, and just being aware 
changes things for you. Uh, because if you weren't aware you were just going through the routine over and over and over again, then you would keep living the same results over and over and over again. So just make that conscious effort to be aware, to notice your thoughts and notice your feelings. And that really is the first step in the whole process. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. So listeners, here's your opportunity. I'm a carpe diem kind of person, so I feel like here's our moment (laughs) to notice our thoughts. And I'm thinking particularly if there's a a pattern that's familiar to you or you feel like you kind of keep showing up at this place that isn't quite where you want to be, that's a great thing to start just slowing down a little bit and noticing your thoughts without judgment, but with curiosity. So take these two minutes and notice your thoughts, become aware, and we'll continue our conversation in two minutes. Birdie told me Voice America is on Twitter. Follow us at Voice America TRN. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa. Play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes of curiosity, exploring, awareness. And there may have been things that that bubbled up or things you're thinking, wow, I don't know what I think about that or how I feel about that. Um, That's great to know that you don't know too (laughs) and can lead to further exploration. And one of the things Lynn shared with me behind the scenes that she has a powerful gift she's going to share during the end of the show, towards the end of the show, I should say, that can help you take some of those next steps. So, Whatever your experience was during those two minutes, I wanted you to know that we have some support built in to help you continue the process and and take those next steps. So be listening for that information and how to take advantage of that to continue to support you on your journey. Because as she mentioned, that awareness is the first step, which means there's more steps. (laughs) And how brilliant is it to be able to get support on those steps? So we'll be coming back to that, be listening for that. We're excited that um, she's leaned in to sharing such a powerful gift with all of us today. One of the things I wanted to circle back on that was touched on in the opening segment is about stress. I hear people talk about stress so often, 
and this is Stress Awareness Month. I appreciated Lynn bringing that to our attention. So I think it's an opportunity for us to powerfully focus in, become aware, discover more about stress. And how can we navigate? I know that Lynn shared about taking that breath, that pause can make a difference. And Lynn, I know you work so many so much with leaders and and so many people around the world that are leaders because we are all leaders help them navigate in an empowered way to move into a success that feels good right and aligned for them in life and business how does stress fit into that and how can we navigate through that in a more powerful and empowered way Yeah, there's a number of things that you can do when you're feeling a little bit stressed. And when you're feeling stressed, most people feel this little bit of agitation. If you're, if if there's no stress in your life, you just feel calm and relaxed. So if you start feeling that little bit of agitation, you don't even necessarily need to know where it's coming from. You can, you can take that breath. You can, another thing that you can do is uh, walk or do some other exercise. You can just stop what you're doing and focus on something that brings you joy. Another thing I have people do is to just find one thing you can feel grateful for and really feel that gratitude. Gratitude is at the same vibration as abundance. So being able to feel gratitude in that space of stress will help eliminate the stress also. So there's a a number of things that you can do to stop the cycle of stress and get you back into the cycle of creativity and um, thinking in positive terms instead of stressful terms. I love that. Thank you for sharing. And I like that those are all very doable without necessarily taking a lot of time, but really taking that moment and being willing to make that shift. So I I like that and that awareness. And thank you for letting us know how stress can show up, that little bit of edginess or irritation or something, <laughs> a little bit mm-hmm. off that is making us not feel peaceful and calm, that that can be a sign of stress. And the more aware we are of it, the more we can step into some of those great techniques and tools to shift. I appreciate that. And I know another way that we can have challenges is around sleep and rest. I know you mentioned that, that getting um, rest and sleep can be something that is good, feeling calm. We hear a lot that you need more sleep and all different kinds of studies are out there showing the importance of sleep. So I think we go, yeah, we know that's important. But I lay there and I can't sleep. Things are running through my mind. How how do you encourage people to either calm the mind or be able to relax enough to sleep um, and rest deeply versus just lay there with thoughts running through their heads? Yeah, there's a. I can think of uh, two things that you can do, and I use both of these. Uh, way back a uh, number of years ago. I was in charge of a really big project. I was the project manager. And I woke up in the night and there was this, um, seemed like a million things running through my mind. So what I did is I just, I like to have a piece of paper and a pen by my bed. I wrote down everything that was on my mind. And once I did that brain dump, I could go to sleep. So depending on what it is, you can do that brain dump. Another thing I like to do is have my clients make an appointment with their doubt. If mm. there, something is keeping them from sleeping, say, I will talk to you tomorrow at 10 a.m. And by just letting that your subconscious know that you are going to talk to the concerns, uh, it is able to help you sleep also. The only trick with that is at 9 a.m. or whatever time you pick, you actually have to go back and address what was on your mind. Otherwise, your subconscious isn't going to believe you're ever going to do that. And if you try it again, it won't work. So Mm. you just say, I'll talk to you tomorrow at 9 a.m. And then at 9 a.m., you get back into whatever it was that was keeping you from sleeping. But that those two methods, using one of those two methods allows you to, to get into, go back into sleep and have a nice restful sleep. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. 
I, I love that. And there's accountability built in with making that appointment with ourselves. <laughs> I think that's yeah. brilliant um, and really great as a leader to be able to learn we can trust ourselves. I, I like how that's a built in side effect <laughs> of that process. And I know that brain dump really works well for me. I know when those moments happen, when I get a paper and pen out and I just, everything that's there, I pour on the paper because I feel like sometimes I'm worried I'm going to forget something or miss something important. But if I can have it all held on the paper, then I don't have to hold it inside me (laughs) swirling around and I can rest. Uh, So I love those. Yeah, those are, those are great suggestions. And I love that appointment. I haven't heard that before. I think that's really brilliant to honor whatever that is that is coming to awareness, but giving it an appropriate time and place, not 2 a.m. <laughs> for us to exactly, be yeah. able to sleep. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And this ties in a little bit with some of what we tell ourselves. And I know you touched on that a little bit in the previous segment where you were talking about paying attention to what we're saying to ourselves. How do negative thoughts or talks affect us on a vibrational level and on a leadership level? Yeah. If you, um, I don't know if you know about David Hawkins' work. He has work on the levels of consciousness Mm -hmm. And fear and worry are at a very, very low vibration, whereas joy and happiness is at a high vibration. And what I mean by vibration, did you ever walk into a room where everybody is arguing and it feels tense and you may even start to feel tense and start to feel angry? That is that lower vibration. Or you could have walked into a room where everybody's happy, everybody's laughing, And you take on that higher, happy, joy vibration. So by just paying attention to how you're feeling, you can, in the moment, shift from that lower fear vibration by thinking, like I mentioned before, one thing to be grateful for and shifting back into that happy, joy vibration. It it all gets back down to awareness again. You want to just... For a moment, ask yourself, how am I feeling and how does that feeling affect my body? And that's where the vibration comes in. Your, your, your body is vibrating all the time at different levels. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. I, I think it's so important that we start paying attention to how we're feeling and the types of environments we're walking in and the type of environment we're creating for ourselves as well. Because you're absolutely right. We are vibrating all the time. We are echoing out different vibration levels and energy as well as receiving. And I think it's important we pay attention to what we're echoing out what we're echoing within because we are communicating in that way. We are sharing information out. We are sharing how we feel out into the world. And I think it's so important that we do so mindfully and purposely part of having a positive and transformational impact is being mindful and aware of the vibration you're sending out. Are you bringing those higher vibrational levels like like Lynn is sharing? Are you echoing that out into the world and joy and peace and calmness? Are you echoing out fear or anger or frustration? Because we are echoing out. I think bringing attention and awareness to that is really important. Anything you would add to that, Lynn? Yeah, and a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people say, fake it until you make it. Um, to me, that still is keeping that in the future, and it's keeping, it kind of is is hard to grasp onto when you're saying fake it until you make it, because then you feel like a fake. But mm. really, if you say be it, I like to say be it until you see it. So mm. you have the vision of what you want to create based on what would I love. So you, you step into being that person. You be it, and, and then you will attract to you everything that coincides with that beingness. So instead of saying fake it till you make it, just be it until you see it. What Step into being that person. How does this person wake up in the morning? How do you walk out the door in the morning? How do you interact with people? What do you read? What do you, do you watch on TV? Just every interaction, be that person that you want to create, and that will attract to you 
um, what you want. And many, many, I'm sure many of your guests know about the law of attraction. The law of mm-hmm. attraction is the secondary law. The law of vibration is the primary law. So that's why I like to tell people, be it, and so you see it, and then you get into that vibration of beingness, and that attracts things to you much, much faster. I love it. I love that. Be it until you see it. And then see it. I should say not even until. See it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Love it. Love yeah. it. Um, thank you for sharing. I it, it brings up an exercise that, that I, I do. And I think this would be a great time for us to share it. So listeners, one of the things I have found is when life gets stressful or I feel stretched thin or I have that moment where that one more thing can't happen. I just can't handle it. And guess what? That one more thing happens. And I feel that contraction. I feel that stress. I start to feel tight. And when that happens, I take a breath. And I ask myself a question. I give myself a timeout. I pull over to the side of the road, whatever it is. I take a breath. And I ask myself a question. Rebecca, are you being how you want to be? Is this who you are? Is this who you want to be? Frustrated, stressed, red thin? No. (laughs) And so my answer is no. And then I say, okay, who do you want to be? How do you want to be? Who are you really? And I take a moment to feel that and take it in. And then with my next breath, as I breathe that in, my next breath, I say, be that. And I open my eyes. I take that breath. And in just that short dialogue with myself, I find I'm able to be different and to embrace it. I'm calmer. My perspective shifts. I'm able to handle whatever it is differently in a more empowered way because I'm being who I am. I took a moment to connect back into that and choose it. And so I want you to take a moment as we go to our commercial break here. These two minutes are for you. And just practice That exercise, some of what Lynn has been sharing about, be it and then see it. Take a moment and really embrace who you are, who you want to be, what gives you that joy, what feels great, and breathe that and then be it. And when we come back, she has an amazing gift that she's going to be sharing. So you're going to get support on the journey and you will get to receive that as you're being it. So enjoy these two minutes, and we'll look forward to talking to you again in just a moment. Voice America is on your favorite smart speaker. If you have Alexa or Google Home, go ahead and give us a try. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast on TuneIn. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You need to live up to your full potential. You've heard that for years, but now there's a channel to help you get there. Introducing the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Our listeners have told us that they want to be motivated, hear about success stories, and positive encouragement around the clock. And we've responded to you. The Voice America Empowerment Channel is the home of the world's top life coaches, entrepreneurs, and success experts. Listen to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's here at voiceamericaempowerment.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or a comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. 
please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, that opportunity to pause, shift your perspective, and step forward powerfully. I have found that such a powerful and effective tool. And then behind the scenes, Lynn shared, that's step number two. (laughs) So I love how everything is folding together so beautifully in our conversation today. And with that, Lynn, I'd love for you to share any final tips or thoughts that you have to empower us on your journey. And then I'd love for you to share your contact information and your beautiful gift that can support us on our journey. Yeah, so the the four-step process is a way of shifting your thought habits, your paradigms. Mm -hmm. And like we talked about, the first is awareness. The second step is interrupt. So be aware of your thoughts. And then when you have thoughts you don't want to have, you interrupt and say, up until now, or I used to. And then the first R, it's A-I-R-R. The first R is release, release that old thought. And then replace that thought with a new thought. For example, you may be thinking about how overwhelmed you are with everything you have to do and you have no idea where to start. You would say, up until now, I was overwhelmed with all I had to do. And now I'm taking the action I need to move forward every single day. So it's just that four-step process, awareness, interrupt, repeat release and replace. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. So we didn't have a mystery of how many steps there are (laughs) and what are they? (laughs) So I appreciate you walking us through that and, and giving us a great example. I love that. So do you mind sharing a little bit about your gift that can support us on our journey? Yeah, so the air method is what I just discussed, and you can get a copy of it. There's a workbook that walks you through in detail all of the steps, and you can get that by just going to lynntranchell.com slash A-I-R-R. So it's L-Y-N-N-T-R-A-N-C-H-E-L-L dot com slash A-I-R-R, and that will um, – that will – Give, get you the workbook so that you can work through this. And when you practice that, it gets easier and easier every time. So it's a, it's a, pro, it's a process that you can use anytime you find your thoughts not leading you where you want to be. I, I love that acronym AIR, too, A-I-R-R, so it's an extra R, R squared, <laughs> but it's, yeah. to, you know, bringing that breath into your life and spirit. I, I just, I love that you have created that. Thank you so much for making that available to all of our listeners today. That's very generous of you, and I appreciate it. Listeners, I encourage you to lean in and say yes to this gift. This is an opportunity to get support in moving forward in really powerful ways and in having a bit of a process and structure that can help support you and lift you up and help you move forward. So, Lynn, again, thank you. And I'd love for you to share your contact information. So, listeners, I hope you have your pen ready. I hope you wrote down the gift URL. So I'm going to have you give the gift URL one more time as well and then your contact information so they can lean in and go deeper with you. Yeah, so um, the air method is at lynntranchell.com slash A-I-R-R. Uh, and everything on social media is Lynn Tranchel or Lynn.Tranchel. I have uh, my Facebook coaching page is Lynn Tranchel Coaching. Uh, my LinkedIn is Lynn Tranchel. My Instagram is Lynn.Tranchel. My Twitter is Lynn Tranchel. My TikTok is Lynn.Tranchel. So any form of Lynn Tranchel. I am the only Lynn Tranchel in the world. So if you see anything with Lynn Tranchel, that's me. And um, <laughs> also just going to lynntranchel.com. Beautiful. So it's, all, uh, it's all Lynn Tranchel. Sometimes it is all about me. I love it. And you're very consistent and easy to find. <laughs> that's brilliant. Yeah, as, as long as you can spell Lynn Tranchel, you'll find me. 
<laughs> Beautiful. And we know it's you because there's only one. <laughs> That's right. There's only one. That's wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing with us today and joining us. I appreciate it. I know our listeners have gotten a lot of great value. And I encourage every listener that has felt that pull, lean in. There's a reason we give you contact information. It's not just for drill. It really is with the intention of having you be able to go deeper with those that can support you to help build that bridge and connection. So lean into those opportunities that serve. And then I was also led to to bring a gift forward today. So for those of you who have felt this pull, this call, that you want to reach more people with your message, perhaps you're interested in being a guest on our show. You're interested in having more visibility. You're looking to get on more stages, more platforms, reach outside of your current circles of influence. If that is something you are looking for or wanting to step into, that's what our gift is all about. So it's called the Speaker Talent Search. You can find it at speakertalentsearch.com. We have different searches throughout the year, but they are date and time sensitive. They are structured that way. So make sure to check it out. And then you can choose the one to apply for that aligns with you and your schedule. So you go to speaker talentsearch.com. This is part of our give back. There's no cost or investment to participate in it. It is our gift to you. I hope that it serves you and supports you and gives you that opportunity to build new connections that can both support you as well as help you reach more people because you are a gift. Just like there's only one Lynn Tranchill, there's only one you. (laughs) And the biggest gift you can give the world is more of you. So I encourage you to lean into the tips and ideas and suggestions that have been given to you today to be willing to lead you, yourself, forward, bringing more of who you truly are, your gifts, your talents to the world. Because when we hold back, when we contract or shrink back, the world misses out. And I want to live in a fully blooming, vibrant world. So I want to encourage you to be willing to fully bloom, to fully shine, to find a way to share a little bit more of the gift of who you are with the world. So as you go forward today, take a couple moments for you. Be it. Be willing to be who you truly are. Be willing to bloom and shine and share the amazing gift of who you are with the world. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel, with a replay on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific on the Voice America Variety Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.